So today is Sunday, um, and normally I don't train on Sundays, but I'm fighting on Tuesday. So um, I ran in the morning, and then I had afternoon training session at Pitchering Room. They don't take breaks there, um, so it was mostly just all of the Thai boys training. Um, and Kurnu is definitely picking up on what I'm putting down because yesterday I asked to spar and he kind of um, wasn't happy with the selection but he let me spar with Lotus which was really good and so today I'm working on the bag and he's like Sylvie get in the ring you're gonna be uh, doing some clinching which is pretty normal um, but I saw only this one kid Tong in there who's a really hard kid to clinch with but I was like all right I'm gonna go clinch with Tong um, which is good because I'm really tired so it'll like really push me and uh, when I get in Kurnu's son, Bank, pops in after me, and Bank is just this incredibly strong kid, and I've been doing really well against him and clinching lately, so it makes him unhappy, but it also makes him really aggressive. So um, I clinched with Bank for probably 15 minutes, and he started talking to the other boys, and he was saying in Thai, come help me, come help me, meaning like someone else come clinch with Sylvie also. <laughs> um, and they kept saying no. So finally, I think Kurnu said that the um, had to come clinch with me. Uh, Thee is a really good person to work with, but a difficulty with him is that he is kind of a jerk. He's like 16, and um, if you start, maybe me particularly because I'm a girl, but um, if you start getting things in on him, he'll turn it way up, and it can get really close to fight level, um, which is not a bad thing necessarily, but it doesn't feel awesome all the time because it's not like light and fun anymore. Um, so we were clinching for a while and it started getting like more and more because I was locking him pretty good and kind of like wrenching on him and, and turning him. I never got him to the ground, but he really did not like what I was doing. So he starts throwing harder and harder knees. And while I don't think that they were his full power, I think that he has many levels and that kid is probably incredibly strong. He cuts to maybe 43 and walks around at 46. So we're maybe like two or three kilos difference. Um, but he's just incredibly strong. He was throwing definitely fight power knees, although not his like full extent power knees. Um, and this causes me to get a little bit emotional <laughs> uh, because the intensity of it and like the intention of it is not playful. Um, and there was a part where he had me against the ropes and he did a full power, like actually full power knee into my back. And we were like a foot away from one of the guys who uh, acts as a trainer there and nobody said anything. Like clearly this is something that just kind of happens. They weren't worried about me or anything like that. And uh, so my response, because you know, how am I supposed to respond to this is basically to just keep coming at him. Like you don't get to have a rest. You don't get to have a break and I'm not gonna quit. So I just kept coming after him. And finally, uh, I think I, I clinched with him for maybe 20 minutes. Um, so this is 35 minutes of clinch already. And uh, they, you know, uh, D is like, okay, we're done. And so I get out of the ring and Kurnu looks at me and he goes, okay, Sylvie, now sparring. And I had to go in against D again, even though we were already like all riled. Um, so I go in and I start sparring with him. And uh, it's kind of more of the same. He's really skilled. He's a, um, you know, Roger Dumner and Lumpany fighter already. Um, and I definitely am the underdog in that situation. And the other trainers and some of the, you know, um, men who are normal faces there who help with the boys were all helping D. They were all giving D all of the instruction. They were giving him all of the tips. They were telling him what to do. And this is something that I've experienced before up at Lana, mostly with off. Um, but it makes me feel a bunch of things, the most of which is angry. Um, and I own that, that my frustration turns to anger because I'm like, why are you helping the guy who's so much better than me? Like, I'm the one who needs help. Um, but I understand a number of things there. One is that they help the one that they're invested in. And he's a lumpany Rajadamna in five years. And he's been there for years. So clearly they're far more invested in him than they are in me. And two, I was actually doing really well. <laughs> so he has a lot more to lose by not looking great or getting things put on him by not only a female, um, but someone who doesn't have as much experience as he does. Um, and so the, the risk for him um, in not looking great in that situation is much higher than mine, which is like, I'm new to this, you're so skilled, you know, all these different things. And uh, he actually kind of needed the help. So that is a positive way to look at it, is that they're talking to the one who kind of is at greater risk at that moment of not looking so great. Um, so we sparred for, for quite a long time, and he actually 
ran out of gas. Um, and near the end there, uh, one of the guys who was helping him actually came in and helped me too. He was showing me how to block on the right and then step and really knee with it. So when we're finished with this, I'm getting out of the ring and Karnu is like, okay, Sylvie, now pad work. And I was like, okay, but just so you know, um, tomorrow I leave for Saran. I'm fighting on Tuesday. I'm not fighting with Karnu's gym, so he didn't know about this. So he's like, oh, oh no, no pad work. Take it easy today as if I can take it easy back from what I just did. And I was like, no, let me do at least one round with you so that I can at least work on the things that you were wanting me to do in sparring, because really he just wanted me to go, 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 like just move forward all the time. Um, and Kurnu is always watching, like out of the corner of his eye, even when he looks like he's not watching you. Um, so we did a round of pad work. And as I'm getting out of the ring, all of the ties are talking about me, talking about like, <laughs> she's the strongest one. She is so strong, she just keeps going. Like all this positive stuff that A, I would have missed if I don't speak Thai, which is, you know, a big thing. But on top of that, I would have missed it if I didn't have my ears open to it. Like if I was just feeling shitty about myself because I had just kind of had this like really intense experience with D, instead of being open to them being like, we put you through the ringer because we believe in you and they are invested in me, um, I wouldn't have been able to hear that, which is pretty incredible. So, um, I finally got out from the pad work and I went into the other room to kind of start cooling down doing my shadow so that I could go over to Petrarum, I mean from Petrarum to Omikun and do more of this. Um, and when I got in there, this, this French girl who's been there for two days came up to me and she's like, are you Sylvie? <laughs> I was like, assuming that she's seen my webpage or something. So I'm like, yes, do you, do you know my webpage? And she's like, no. Uh, I was hoping you could work with me because I just saw you go go against this boy and you look so good, your technique is so good. And I was like, um, I'm getting ready to go over to my other gym. Uh, when do you leave? And she said she's leaving Tuesday, so I'm actually not going to see her again. So I was like, okay, let's go. And so um, we went into the other ring and, and I was just going to show her some clinch stuff, but she really wanted to spar. <laughs> she's like 10 kilos bigger than me and, and uh, definitely has... Um, she has experience and, and training in her, but it's uh, not as controlled as, as people who, um, you know, have, have spent a lot of time training under controlled situations. So um, we just worked together for what I thought was going to be like five, ten minutes. Working on clinch turned into maybe like 15, 20 minutes of sparring again. Um, and crew knew is standing in there watching, like I was telling him, I don't say no to girls who want to clinch or spar with me. And so as we're like going with this girl coming at me, he's talking to her and she's like, he's like, champion, you're sparring with champion. I'm like, why are you only ever nice to me when talking to other people? Uh, it's very Thai. Um, but so I worked with her for that and then we took our gloves off and, and I was like, okay, we'll just do some, you know, clinch for five minutes so I can just show you some basic stuff, like get your arms on the inside, keep your legs on the outside. This is how you turn. Um, and we ended up doing that for probably another 10, 15 minutes. And she was like, thank you so much. Nobody ever shows me anything. <laughs> and I was like, this is, this is one of these like experience upon experience upon experience of everything being intense and everything being something that you could very easily say no to. Like, no, I'm tired. I don't want to do this on top of that. Or like, no, I don't want to go in sparring with D because he just got so intense in clinching and it's far more risk for injury and in sparring. It's all of it. All of it became so good. And it was just an incredibly good experience of training that was completely exhausting. And then I went over to Omi Kun Gym and Sagwiyan was like, get in the ring, you guys are just gonna be doing clinching tonight because we're all fighting on Tuesday. And so we get in the ring and we're doing this like man in the middle thing and they throw another kid in uh, who got to be in for 25 minutes and it was just like this heavy intensity, like never stopping. You have to jump on the minute someone gets thrown down. And so that was about an hour of clinching on top of that at Omi Kun Gym. It's crazy. I used to beg to get five minutes of clinching and now I got like an hour and 30, an hour and 45 minutes of clinching, sparring on top of that. And it's incredibly exhausting, <laughs> but I'm just so grateful for it. Um, and if, if Sylvie had asked someone years ago to please just give me five minutes of sparring or clinching, what it would have meant to me for someone to say yes is so intense because it still means a lot for someone to say yes to me now. Um, and I'm just getting yes more and more from my own trainers. So that was my day. Thank you.
Hello. 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 Hello.